this video is in response to a couple of questions I received from a viewer regarding apps script filter method. The first question was, can you filter a data set based on a string rather than a cell value such as a partial text? And the answer is yes. The second question was, uh, once you filter your data, can you add a new sheet and make the name of that sheet the same as the variable that contains your string value. So like, for example, the word south in this cell here. And the answer to that too is yes, and we'll do that here. So you can see here, I have a data set of loan records and I'm gonna create a filter based on anything in column D, the branch location that contains the word south. And you can see I have multiple locations that contain the word south. I have a southeast branch and I have a southwest branch and we want to filter on all of those. So we'll get started here. We'll go to tools and then script editor. We'll call this project my filter and give the function that name as well. So our first variable is going to be called ss and that is going to be equal to spreadsheet application and get active spreadsheet because this is just going to represent the spreadsheet we're in now we're going to have a variable called loan sheet and this is just going to represent the sheet we currently have here called loans so that is going to be equal to our ss variable and then get sheet by name and the sheet name is loans We're going to have another variable called criteria, which represents the cell that contains our partial text criteria. That is going to be cell F2 containing the word south that we want to filter on. So that is going to be equal to loan sheet and then get range. And we want to get F2 and we want to get the value. So now we want a variable, we'll call this D range for data range, and that's just going to represent all of the records here in our data set that we want to filter on. So that too is going to begin with our loan sheet variable. We want to get range. And what I'm going to do here is just get the first cell, our beginning point of that range, which is cell A2. And then we're going to use get data region that will get all the adjacent cells and capture all of those other loan records below and to the right. From there, we want to get values plural because this is a multi cell array. So now what we want to do is apply a filter to this data range variable and filter on our criteria variable. So we're going to create a new variable called filtered range so we'll just call this f range and this is going to be equal to our data range and then we're going to use the filter method which allows you to pass a function to it so this begins with the keyword function and then we have the basic structure of a function in the script editor which is a parentheses and then a set of curly brackets now in this set of parentheses we're just going to list a variable we'll call it e just really represents the elements in our two-dimensional array and this e by itself is really the outer array which is the collection of rows so we want to return something so we begin with the keyword return and what we want to return is anywhere where our elements and as I said that's the outer collection of rows by itself what we want to do is get to our criteria column one thing to keep in mind is in arrays in app script the count begins at zero so actually this first column is column zero this is column one this is column two this is column three so to get to the column we add a set of brackets and then reference that column what do we want to look for in this column well we want to match it 
to our criteria variable. So since we're, we have a partial text string match here, we're gonna use match. And then in that parentheses, what we wanna match it to, which is our criteria variable. So once we have this filtered range variable set up, now what we wanna do is add a new variable that will represent our new sheet that we add. So we'll call this end sheet. And this is gonna be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then insert sheet. And we want the one that has an input for the sheet name. So our sheet name is gonna be equal to our criteria variable. And on this new sheet, we want to get range and we have a two dimensional array. So we want this option here. So we'll begin on row two, column one. Our number of rows is really unknown. It depends on what we're filtering on. So we need something dynamic there. So we want to reference our filtered range variable and then get the length of that variable because that will get the length of the outer array which is the number of rows and for the number of columns we we know there's four columns so we'll just input four there and then we want to set the values of this new array on our new sheet to our filtered range variable now one thing I meant to mention earlier is the match function is not case sensitive. It wouldn't matter in this example because all the values that contain the word South have a capital S and our criteria has a capital S as well. But in the real world, that might not always be the case. So what we could do is after the get value of our criteria, we could insert to lowercase and then do the same after our elements column four reference before our match. So to lowercase. That will convert everything to lowercase and that is a much safer approach. So I'll hit save. We'll run this, we'll get a prompt to review permissions. And once I authorize this, what we should see is a new sheet get added called South and just records that contain the word South. So I'm gonna click review permissions, click on the account we're using, go to advanced, scroll down, click on the project name, scroll down again, click allow. And there is our new sheet called South. And there are our filtered records for only records that contain the word South. Now, one final thing I would mention here is it is possible we might run this script multiple times. And the problem you're gonna run into is if we ever needed to filter South again, our code will stop when it gets to the point where it wants to insert a new sheet based on our criteria because there's already a sheet out there named South. So um, what we want to do is, you know, essentially overwrite that sheet just so it doesn't stop our code. So right above the part where we insert our new sheet based on our criteria value, we just wanna insert a simple if condition, which will contain a reference to our spreadsheet and then get sheet by name. And we're gonna reference our criteria again, because we're really just testing to see if that 
sheet name is out there right now and then after that we have a set of curly brackets with what we want to do well the first thing I want to do is create a variable called existing sheet and I'm simply going to copy what we've already tested up here because we want to create a essentially a temporary variable called existing sheet that should hold our south sheet if it's already out there and below that we just want to reference our spreadsheet variable again and then delete sheet and reference our existing sheet variable so I'll hit save um, we really it's not going to look any different. I think what I might do is just change the loan number here to something different. It was 10111. We'll change it to 10112 and run this code. And what we should see is this data get overwritten with the same sheet name. And there it is. So that basically just tests to see if the sheet holding our variable is already out there if it is then we simply delete it so that we can insert a new sheet with that same sheet name well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe